announcement of Mario Strikers Battle League, I've been pretty excited. However, the more closer we get to launch, the more I'm realizing that maybe I should skip Mario's return to the soccer field on the Switch. What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Mario Strikers Battle League and why I'm kinda disappointed. So let's start off by just covering this, that I love Mario sports games. Ever since back in the days, I played it on the N64, the Wii, the GameCube. However, I've been skipping them on the Nintendo Switch so far besides Mario Tennis. At the time, I was itching for a Mario sports game when it got announced, and I believe it was the first sports game that hit the Nintendo Switch, I could be wrong on that. And what got me into it is the story mode, which when I first seen it, it sold me. I knew going in that if I didn't enjoy just grinding out the online multiplayer or playing it with friends or with my daughter, that I had the single player there that I could fall back on and enjoy. And to be honest and fair, that's what I feel like Mario Strikers Battle League is missing. Yes, I know, most people don't buy sports games for the story mode, but it's kind of what I like to call the Mortal Kombat effect. Yes, people are buying the game for the fighting and, you know, to play online with friends and to fight random people online. But knowing that you also get that full, complete Mortal Kombat story mode inside the package of the game always seals the deal for me. It makes me feel okay that I'm purchasing that game, knowing that I'm getting a full single player campaign along with a full online fighting game system. Makes it worth the $60, you know, at least to me anyway. This is why I skip the Call of Duty that didn't have the campaign. And this is why I skip Battlefield 2042. I'm at the point where I don't feel like I'm getting a complete game without at least a story mode included with the multiplayer suite of a game if it's going to be focused on multiplayer. And I kind of wish Nintendo priced the game around the same price point as Nintendo Switch Sports because that seems fitting. $40 for a bunch of online sports mini games quote unquote in one package mario strikers battle league feels like it falls under those criteria, but without the price point it's 60 dollars. it's like we're getting a mario tax on top of just being able to play a sports game online and then again that's on top of playing for nintendo switch online which to me i think is fine because you get a ton of extra bonuses with nintendo switch online so i'm not mad at that at all but to me it just feels like mario strikers battle league at launch anyway it's just missing a ton of content without a single player without characters that like most mario sports games have at this point granted there was drip feeding these characters after the game has launched as dlc i feel like the game is just like for is this missing something that they haven't shown us presented to us or hell have we haven't seen from other mario strikers games now i know nintendo came out and said that there's more content planned for the game but we all know that's not single player and i don't know it just feels weird paying a full price game price for mario strikers battle league and i don't know i think that's what's itching me to stay away from this game at least at launch this will probably be a great black friday pickup something to grab along down the line when they do eventually add more characters more stadiums hopefully more modes then i'll look into it and probably jump back on it i am going to still cover the test fire that happens this weekend i believe if i get this video out by then i played a ton of the training mode stuff here in the demo already and while it does play great it does feel great to play again mario strikers and have it in my hands play it on the switch handheld on in docked it feels amazing to me I, I i don't know i just don't have the itch anymore to play mario sports games at that 60 dollars price point if it's not coming with a whole suite of modes 
and features. I don't know. Is it just me? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking Mario, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on. I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.